Klong. Kling Klong. Dok, 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 dok. Rhino Weisholz. Welcome, Rhino. Welcome to the Amsterdam Dance Events. Yeah, Are you nice. here to socialize or...? I'm basically here to socialize, yes, but I um, used to be here for doing business to, for my label and for me as an artist, but basically for the label. And I'm coming here since the very first beginning, perhaps since 12 years or 10 years, or I don't know how long, and it's getting bigger and bigger, and even now the sun is shining, which is unusual these days. And I love it to be here, and it's always a great experience, great day and night. Yeah, so you're a proud owner of Kling Klong, obviously, a fantastic label. Tell us a little bit about that, tell us its, its history and the direction you're taking, the artists that you choose. Um, the, the label is originally founded by a German friend called Martin Ayerer, who's a rather big DJ in Germany and a great producer. And he had the idea to run his label by himself, like Sven Vett does his Cocoon and like DJ Hell does his International Gigolo record. So. And that was perhaps six, yeah, seven years ago. And, uh, but he has no clue how to run a label. He's only a producer and that's it. Um, so he needed someone like me who knows how to run a label. And I worked for Great Stuff Records, for example, for seven, eight years. And I really, I, I'm amazing in running labels. I just know how it works. And, that's, uh, and I love to do administrational work. Back yeah, I love that. And two years ago, uh, Kling Klong was not a uh, sub-label of Great Stuff anymore. So I told Martin, my friend, well, uh, I can take over and run it for you. But I only do it if I can be A&R of the label. Because Martin, he's not such a good A&R. He's an amazing producer. He's mastering all our products. But a good DJ is not necessarily a good A&R. Yeah. Yeah. He only can A&R for his own DJ set, but not for the rest of the world. Yeah. But I can do that. So, um, yeah, and then let's say two, one and a half years ago, we started it together, really. And then since, since then, it's exploding and we have fun only signing records we really like. We both play. We always have to compromise. So every, Martin and I, we both have to love a track. So we sign it. And it can be any unknown producer from Hungary. We don't care. We don't need big names or something. It's all about the production, right, at the it's end of the day. really only about the music. And you can still get a well-known remixer to put a name on the track, but the original track can be from just someone unknown, DJ Klaus yeah. or whoever. Yeah. So tell us about your, your DJing schedule. Uh, are you here, to, you're here playing this week? Or? No, in fact, I'm not here playing this week. I played the last years every time at the ADE, and we now talk about next year, about Amsterdam, even, Amsterdam Dance Event next year already to do Clank Long Nights. And we will do a big worldwide seven years of Kling Klong tour next year. Probably at Studio 80 will be the Kling Klong night. Or we hope so. It would be lovely. And, uh, but not, I'm not playing here this, during the conference. It's just, I prefer to go out, in fact, and meet other people than spending three hours, four hours in a club only playing. I love to meet people. So as well as managing uh, the label, you, uh, you obviously produce also yourself. No. You don't produce? Um, in fact, I have no clue how a studio works. I, not really. I have no idea. So, but I have ideas how uh, tracks should sound like or about a melody or whatever, a theme in a track. So I need producers, engineers, and I sit beside and tell them, yes, this hi-hat, no, not this bass drum. <laughs> Uh, or I, I just send them ideas, sketches or samples and ask them to build a track around. Okay. But me, myself, I don't want to know anything about technically how it works. Okay, so tell us about your, your DJ setup and your schedule. And As a DJ, I prefer to not play the monotone DJ tools one after another, bass out, bass in, and keep on going. I, I love to include, let's say, melodies or vocals or something. Not, it doesn't, it's not cheesy then, but it's just something that not only moves your feet, but also moves your head or keeps some, tracks that can stick in your head and can stay in your head. Yeah. That's also what I need when I and r when I sign songs for Kling Klong. I want not only the great boom boom only, because there are millions of great tools, DJ tools around, I want something that can stay in your head. Okay, so and your schedule for the next uh, three months, perhaps, um, maybe a year even? <laughs> look, uh, look on Facebook. Check it on Facebook. Well, I play it every week, of course. 
I play mainly in Europe. I rather not so much in North Korea or. But it will be from Russia to India to Mexico to Canada to Germany to Munich to yeah. So you definitely have a full global yeah, yeah, presence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. That's for sure. Thank you, Rainer Voisold. Thank You've you. Been a legend. This is Thank you. Five, mate.